Okay. So we're going to prove by composition that if m squared is even, then m is even. So recall that um, p implies q, or if p then q, is equivalent to not q implies not p, right? So what this is telling us is if not q implies not p is true, then p implies q is true. So how we can use that in this context is um, if m, right, if m is odd, then m squared is odd. If we can choose, if we can prove that that statement is true, then it's the same thing as saying if m squared is even, then m is even, which is what we want. So if we can show that uh, if m is odd, then m squared is odd, then we can, then we know that uh, the statement if m squared is even, then m is even is true. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And this is a really good strategy in mathematics in general, because sometimes it's hard to prove the direct way. Okay, so let's go ahead and do prove by contraposition. Okay, so uh, we are going to assume m is odd. Okay. So if m is odd, this implies that m is equal to 2k plus 1, where k is an integer. Okay, so now we're going to investigate m squared. So that's equal to 2k plus 1 squared, which is, of course, equal to 2k plus 1 times 2k plus 1. 2k times 2k is 4k, right? So we, we can go ahead and rewrite this here. m squared is equal to 4k squared, because 2k times 2k is 4k squared. Um, 2k times 1 is 2k, right? And then plus 1 times 2k would be 2k. Well, I'll just do that. 2k plus 2k plus, uh, plus a 1, right? Because 2k times 2k is 4k squared. 2k times 1 is 2k. 1 times 2k is 2k, and 1 times 1 is 1, okay? So we can combine like terms, right? So we have m squared is equal to 4k squared plus uh, 4k plus 1. And then, of course, we can rewrite this as um, 2 times 2k squared plus 2k plus 1. And of course, we know that 2k squared plus 2k is an integer. So m squared is of the form 2 times an integer plus 1. So this implies m squared is odd. So we assumed that m was odd, and we got to m squared is odd. So that means that um, we proved, we've proven this statement by contraposition. So we know that m, if m squared is even, then m is even. Okay. So we've proven what we set out to do by contraposition.